Ethiopian philosophy is the philosophical corpus of the territories of present-day Ethiopia and Eritrea. Besides via oral tradition, it was preserved early in written form through Ge'ez manuscripts. This philosophy occupies a unique position within African philosophy. Topic. Beginnings of Ethiopian philosophy The character of Ethiopian philosophy is determined by the particular conditions of evolution of the Ethiopian culture. Thus, Ethiopian philosophy arises from the confluence of Greek and patristic philosophy with traditional Ethiopian modes of thought. Because of the early isolation from its sources of Abrahamic spirituality, Byzantium and Alexandria, Ethiopia received some of its philosophical heritage through Arabic versions. The Scipiential literature developed under these circumstances is the result of a twofold effort of creative assimilation, on one side, of a tuning of orthodoxy to traditional modes of thought never eradicated, and vice versa, and, on the other side, of absorption of Greek pagan and early patristic thought into this developing Ethiopian Christian synthesis. As a consequence, the moral reflection of religious inspiration is prevalent, and the use of narrative, parable, apothem and rich imagery is preferred to the use of abstract argument. This sapiential literature consists in translations and adaptations of some Greek texts, namely of the Physiologue CCA, 5th century AD, the Life and Maxims of Skendes 11th century AD, and the Book of the Wise Philosophers 1510 Topic: <laughs> Mature Ethiopian philosophy. In the 17th century, the religious beliefs of Ethiopians were challenged by King Susino's adoption of Catholicism, and by a subsequent presence of Jesuit missionaries. The attempt to forcefully impose Catholicism upon his constituents during Susino's reign inspired further development of Ethiopian philosophy during the 17th century. Zara Jacob (1599–1692) is the most important exponent of this renaissance. His treatise Hatata is a work often included in the narrow canon of universal philosophy. <inaudible> Zara Yaqob Zara Yaqob had a culture entirely theological. Although of humble birth, he earned respect for his intellectual capacities, and went on to pursue the traditional Ethiopian theological education. Zara Yaqob mastered Coptic theology and Catholic theology, and he had extensive knowledge of Jewish and Islamic religions. His spiritual Vaid Mechum was David's Book of Psalms, in which he sought comfort and inspiration. Knowing thus two Christian interpretations of the Bible, as well as the two other Abrahamic religions, and seeing the contradictions between them, Zara Yaqob is led to refuse the authority of the Ethiopian tradition and of any tradition in general. He comes to think that the tradition is infested by lies, because men, in their arrogance, believe that they know everything and thus refuse to examine things with their own mind, blindly accepting what has been transmitted to them by their forefathers. The philosopher accepts then as unique authority his reason, and accepts from the scriptures and from the dogmas only what resists a rational inquiry. He affirms that the human reason can find the truth, if it searches it and does not get discouraged in front of the difficulties. Thus, by his piecemeal examination, this is what Hatata means, Zara Yaqob arrives at an argument for the existence of God, an essence uncreated and eternal, based on the impossibility of an infinite chain of causes, and at the conviction that the creation is good, because God is good. This belief is the basis for a criticism of ascetic morals and of some Jewish and Islamic moral precepts as well. By identifying the will of God with what is rational Zara Yaqob rejects most of these moral precepts e.g. concerning polygamy, or fasting, or sexual or alimentary interdictions as blasphemy. He seems to think that all is good for the good one, reminding thus of the mode of thought expressed in the profession of faith of the other great Zara Yaqob, the emperor from the 15th century. Valda <inaudible> Haywat <inaudible> Zara Yaqob had a disciple, Valda Haywat, who also wrote a philosophical treatise, systematizing his master's thought. He accorded more attention to the practical and educational problems, and he tried to connect Zara Yaqob's philosophy with the kind of wisdom expressed in the earlier sapiential literature. Valda Haywat recurs intensively to illustrations and parables, and many times the source of his examples is the Book of the Wise Philosophers. Although his work is arguably less original than that of his masters, it can be considered more Ethiopian 
Since it represents a synthesis through which some ideas engendered by Zara Jacob's rejection of tradition are brought together with traditional Christian inspired wisdom. It is more Ethiopian, also in the sense that it addresses some practical, social, and moral issues that most Ethiopians of his time encountered in their lives. Thus, Valda Haywat's work is less speculative, but more national in character than the treatise of his master, Zara Jacob. See also Ethiopian calendar Topic Sources Sumner, Claude, The Source of African Philosophy, The Ethiopian Philosophy of Man, Stuttgart, Franz Steiner Verlag Wiesbaden, 1986 Sumner, Claude, Ethiopia, Philosophy in in E. Craig, ed., Routledge Encyclopedia of Philosophy, London, Routledge, 1998. Kiros, Teodros, The Meditations of Zara Yaqob, http colon slash slash www.boo.edu slash wcp slash papers slash afri slash afrikiro.htm. Kiros, Teodros, Zara Yaqob, Rationality of the Human Heart, Red Sea Press, 2005. Topic. Further reading Teodros Kiros, Zara Jakob and Traditional Ethiopian Philosophy, in Wiredu and Abraham, eds, A Companion to African Philosophy, 2004. Enno Littman. Philosophy Abyssini. Corpus Scriptorum Christianorum Orientalium, Vol. 18, Scriptores Ethiopici, Presses Republicanes, 1904. Contains the Gies text of the treatises of Zara Jakob and Valda Haywat. Claude Sumner, Ethiopian Philosophy, Volume 1, The Book of the Wise Philosophers, Commercial Printing Press, 1974. Claude Sumner, Ethiopian Philosophy, Volume 2, The Treatise of Zara Yeikob and Valda Hewitt, Text and Authorship, Commercial Printing Press, 1976. Claude Sumner, Ethiopian Philosophy, Volume 3, The Treatise of Zara Yeikob and Valda Hewitt, An Analysis, Commercial Printing Press, 1978. Claude Sumner, Ethiopian Philosophy, Volume 4, The Life and Maxims of Scandies, Commercial Printing Press, 1974. Claude Sumner, Ethiopian Philosophy, Volume 5, The Fasalguos, Commercial Printing Press, 1976. Claude Sumner. Classical Ethiopian Philosophy, Commercial Printing Press, 1985. Contains an English translation and brief introduction for each of the texts presented in volumes IV of Sumner, Ethiopian Philosophy. Claude Sumner. The Light and the Shadow, Zara Jakob and Valda Haywat, Two Ethiopian Philosophers of the 17th Century. In Wiredu and Abraham, eds, A Companion to African Philosophy, 2004. Topic. External links A brief introduction to Ethiopian philosophy, with bibliography and textual selections Ethiopian philosophy, a blog devoted to Zara Jakob and Valda Haywat.